Hello guys, this is Dr. Possibility from Excel Academy. In this tutorial, I'm just going to explain on our part 3 of histology revision. Please make sure that you subscribe and make sure that you share this video to as many people as you can. Let's quickly get started. In our first question, we have been given this slide. And the first question is, label the part in black arrows and yellow arrows. So if you look at the part in black, which is this guy here. So if you look at this part, this is just the nerve. And in this case, if you look at this nerve, the reason why we are saying it's a nerve, because it has no domain. So when you talk of the black, the black arrow is just showing the nerve. Okay? It's just showing the nerve. And then when you talk of the yellow arrow, you need to make sure that you are a little bit uh, specific because in this case, we are having two blood vessels. In this case, we are having two blood vessels. We have this blood vessel and that blood vessel. So if you look at this blood vessel, it's a little bit thick and also this blood vessel has a small lumen. But when you talk of this one, this guy is a little bit thin and it has also the, the, the big uh, lumen. So in this case, this is just an artery. So you just say an artery because this is just a blood vessel. Okay, let's quickly move on. Name the cells in the uh, in the part shown with yellow arrow. So if you look at the inside of this cell, the inside of this cell is having some cells which are just the first one. You can talk about the red blood cells. So the first cells are the red blood cells which you can see there. And then the other cells which you can identify, you can look at the um, endothelial cells. So these are just some um, endothelial cells around there. So you just see endothelial cells which are responsible in the formation of the endothelial lining of the blood vessels. Remember that um, the endothelium is the special name given to the cells, where, um, the, the epithelium which is around the blood vessel. Remember, the endothelium is just the special name given to the simple squamous epithelial, um, epithelium which is found in the blood vessel. Let's quickly move on. Okay. The next slide, we have been given this, and the question is, name the slide. So if you look at this slide, you can give, um, you can give dense regular connective tissue. So this is dense regular connective tissue so this is just this regular connective connective tissue okay so if you look at this tissue you find that there are some wavy like structure which are just the collagen fibers so the collagen fibers are moving in a wavy like motion and then you can see some few cells, which are this one, some nuclear cells of cells like that one, that one, which are just fibroblasts. Okay, so you can use, you can also give an answer as a tendon. You can also say as a tendon, but I would advise you put the tendon in brackets when you write this irregular connective tissue. Okay, then give two reasons to your answer. The first reasons I can give is presence of fibroblasts. Presence of fibroblasts. Okay, so the fibroblasts have a fibroblast. Blast. Okay, so the fibroblasts have a function of producing the extracellular matrix. And this extracellular matrix is the one which also contains some collagen fibers. As you can see, these collagen fibers are moving in the wavy-like motion. Okay, so you can say collagen fibers, collagen fibers, fibers, collagen fibers in, in what? In regular wavy motion in regular wavy motion so if you observe the collagen fibers are in a regular 
um, wavy motion or arrangement you can just simply use the word arrangement okay it's also okay all right so let me quickly move on the next question is what is the function of the part shown by the black arrow so this part which is just the nucleus of the fiber brush so the the function of the fiber brush is just to produce collagen to produce collagen fibers okay remember this uh this dense regular connective tissue it has uh collagen fibers collagen fiber is just a protein which is found in the extracellular matrix okay so with that some lecturer would you love you to you to give this reason where you can say it produces produces the extracellular matrix it produces the extracellular matrix okay let me quickly move on this other slide so the slide is name the slides so if you look at these slides these are just some eyes looking at me these are just some eyes looking at me and when you talk of that then we are talking about the yaline cartridge so this is just the yaline cartridge okay so yaline cartridge that's the answer for this one if you want you can also include the 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 name trachea to your answer but the major one is just the yaline cartridge then label the parts marked with arrows so if you look at the red arrow if you look at the red arrow so the red arrow if you observe very well you find that it's pointing at that cell and these cells are not in the lacuna these cells are not in the lacuna so these cells are just chondroblasts these cells are just chondroblast so remember the chondroblast chondroblast okay the chondroblasts are the ones which are responsible for the production of the extracellular matrix in the what in the cartilage okay and then the yellow guy there remember that yellow part where it is showing so when you talk of the yellow part in this case it is not literally uh, indicating this nucleus instead it is indicating the outer side here so this outer side is just the lacuna so lacuna you can write the lacuna with chondroblast the lacuna with chondroblast so chondrocyte sorry chondrocyte remember the chondrocytes are found in the lacuna whereas the chondroblast are not found in the lacuna and then when you talk of the chondroblast the chondroblast um, um, make the cellular component of the peri peri pericardium so it forms the cellular component you have the fibrous component and also the cellular component okay let's quickly move on and look at this slide so this slide is saying name the slide so if you look at this slide this slide is just the epididymis yeah this slide is just the epididymis 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 okay so this is just the epididymis and if you observe very well this epididymis has some stereocilia and also uh, the, the epithelium is pseudo stratified so what type of epithelium does this slide show so this slide is just showing the pseudo pseudo stratified pseudo stratified pseudo stratified columnar 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 epithelium with stereocilia epithelium epithelium with stereocilia with stereocilia stereocilia okay okay so 
Um, the major objective why we have included stereocilia is due to the fact that pseudostratified columnar epithelium is also found in the trachea and when you talk of in the trachea it doesn't have stereocilia instead it has the 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 cilia so you need to be a little bit specific because we are talking about the epididymis let's quickly move on and look at this important slide so the question is the slide shows so if you look at these guys are just some reticular fibers so the answer in this case is just the reticular fibers so this is just the reticular fibers okay and if you want you can indicate the liver in most cases this slide is coming from the liver so you can indicate that in bracket okay the next one is from which organ was this slide gotten so in that case you can just simply light the liver okay then the next question is name the stenus so if you look at the reticular fibers the reticular fibers they are normally uh, stained black when they are stained with silver stain so the answer at this particular point is just the silver stain so remember the silver stain is the one which normally stains the reticular fibers black all right guys thank you very much for joining me please make sure that you subscribe to my youtube channel and also make sure that you contact me on those numbers in case you want to register with us thank you very much this was dr possibility from excel academy